Okay, I'm gonna test my theory. I've had a few videos with uh, condenser fan motor blades installed wrong, like this. Take my plug out for the drain. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at head pressure with it all the way down on the shaft. I got a five ton Lennox. Had to replace the condenser fan motor. It's HS29 from uh, 2003. So let me get that hooked up and we're gonna look at head pressure. Okay, we're gonna start this up. Got the smart probes on it. Let's get it started. I had to replace the capacitor too. That was one of the reasons why. All right. It's making a little noise. Let's see. Today, I think. Let's see. What's the temperature today? It's Jesus cold. Um, what is the temperature? Maybe it's 71 degrees. Let's see. 72. 72 degrees. Okay. Close my disconnect so I don't pop my head. So, 72 degrees. With that's with the sh uh, blade all the way down in the shaft, so there's our, our head pressure slowly climbing. So let me give it a few minutes and see where it ends up at. All right, so I leveled out about 182. I'm working on a TXV system, so an older TXV, so I'm going to want 10 degrees of sub point. So I'm right there, it's a little hot in the house. Not really hot, but but look at my head pressure. 182. That's with my fan all the way down on the shaft. Now, this is a retrofit motor, third horsepower. Let me move this thing up on the shaft and we'll see what difference it makes. And you gotta understand it's only 72 degrees outside too. So I'm hanging around that 180 area. So this is all about the fan blade placement. Okay, you can see where it was set. Way down there at the bottom. And I got a way at the top. Let me give it a spin here. Okay, we're good to go. All right. Okay, it's on there good enough. It'll hold. It's not going anywhere. All right, let's watch our head pressure now. She's making a little noise. I think that uh, fan blade is the hub. It's the hub's bad on the fan blade. But you know, when I had this thing running with the fan blade where it should have been, look at my pressures. I went from 180 to 180 right around there to 156, 157. So fan blade placement is critical on an air conditioner for head pressure. Just kind of keep that in mind when you're doing uh, you know, condensed fan motor swap. Say if the 
motor's too big, you got a pancake motor, when, you get, when you're putting in a regular size motor, you may be able to use it, you may not be able to use it, you'll have to tuck it up as tight as you can to the motor. But, yeah, that's shaved like 30 PSI, no, 20 PSI off my head pressure. So she's running good. Alright guys, just a quick video. We get a lot of questions about uh, fan blade placement. That should help answer. Alright guys, like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.